Rob, it's a trip to Bristol Rovers this weekend and you now know exactly what's needed to get yourself over that line. Yeah, um, really exciting game against a very good team. Um, big support, you know, really good pitch. Um, Going to be a very good occasion, so we're looking forward to it. Um, you know, after Monday, we've had a couple of days to to recover and recuperate, and trained yesterday and today uh, to prepare for the game, which we know is a a really big game for both clubs. So it's a uh, it's an exciting one. And given those things you just mentioned, and and a sellout away end, it's it's the perfect opportunity, isn't it, to to go and do what you know your team are capable of. Uh, yeah, it's a great look. It's a great game for us. It's one to it's one to enjoy. We want to enjoy the position that we're in. We we'll enjoy the moment. But you enjoy. Let's be honest. You enjoy things by winning as well. You enjoy football when you win, and um, that's not a given. Of course, it's not. You know, Bristol deserve a lot of respect because they're playing good football and winning. It's a very difficult game. Um, but you know, so far in this season, in these big occasions against big teams. We've, we've turned up and um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. We're really looking forward to it. You know, it's a must win game for for them. It's, uh, we know what we need to do. You know, it's a game where we've got to go all out to try and win the game. Uh, we don't know how to just turn up and get a point. And that's not possible. So both teams are going to be going for it. It's got the makings of a really good game, um, a really good advert for League Two. And how impressed have you been with the way that your team have conducted themselves? Because pretty much since the win away at Tranmere in January, you've been hearing phrases like champions elect and promoted already, but, but they've managed to, to maintain a, a real level-headedness. Yeah, we've tried to remain consistent. We've tried to be consistent. We've tried to be relentless in what we do. It's been difficult. We've had to deal with a different pressure to probably most teams this year. Um, you know, it's easy for people to say it's easier being there you know, it's tougher to chase. I, I, I don't know what way around is, is easier or harder. I just know, you know, a full league season, 46 games is difficult, no matter where you are, who you are. Um, we've we've done well so far, but we know there's four more big games to go. Um, I'm really proud of what the boys have achieved so far, so far. But we know there's a big, uh, a big effort to come. We know the job is not done. It's not, um, so we've got to be fully focused, ready for a battle, ready to, to do the basics, ready to, to win duels, ready to run hard, um, and then go and be brave and try and play our way as well. Um, so if we don't do those things, then, then there's no point in turning up. So first and foremost, let's go and have a right good go. And, um, but I definitely want us to try and enjoy the occasion as well. and, and um, and uh, yeah, really give a good account of ourselves. And what are you expecting from Bristol Rovers? Obviously, they're going to be wanting to to impress that sold-out crowd as well. Yeah, they've got to win. You know, they know that there's no point in messing about. They 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 want to win the game. They've got an opportunity to get automatic promotion. So they've got three games. They want to go all out to try and win all three games. So they've got good individuals. They play a good brand of football. They try and play. They'll dominate a lot of games. Um, you know, <laughs> against us, we don't want that to be the case. So um, we've got to try and stop that as well. And then we've got to try and have an impact on them and make and, and, and imprint our game on, on them. That's what we've got to try and do. And that'll be a challenge, that'll be tough um, because they're good, but so are we.